Okay, in the uh, last section, we looked at a Cisco trick to work out um, broadcast addresses and host addresses and so on uh, a bit quicker than doing it, converting it all into binary and so on. Now, let's have a look at another example of that. This is um, a third question, third type of IP addressing question we might get. The question says, network 172.16.0.0 has a 20-bit mask. Which of the following are broadcast addresses this time? And then we've got a list of addresses that could be possible broadcast addresses. So the first thing to do is to get our lookup table again. There's the question. And what we need to do is work out, first of all, what a 20-bit mask is. Well, we know what a 16-bit mask is. It's 255.255.0.0. That's 16 bits. So we now need to move into the third octet. We're going to have a value in the third octet that will give us 20 bits. Okay, so 16 bits is 255.255.0.0 plus an extra 4 bits. And what we're going to do is count across the top from left to right. So we go 128, 192, 224, 240. So now we know what the decimal mask looks like. It looks like that. A 20-bit mask is 255.255.240.0. Now we can use that to find out um, which of these are broadcast addresses, which ones are hosts, and so on. So there's what we've got. We've got a, a class B address of 172.16.0.0 with a mask of 255.255.240.0. Uh, we're going to use our magic number again. So we're going to subtract the third octet this time from 256, and that will give us the steps that the subnets go up in. But this time, we mustn't forget the last octet. So if we subtract that, we get, again, a value of 16s. So the subnets go up in the third octet in 16s. So the list looks like this. It goes 0.0, .0 don't forget the fourth octet, 16.0, 32.0, 48.0, 80.0, 96.0, and so on. So we have a list of subnets that um, <coughs> are available using that mask. We know that the broadcast address is one address before the next subnet. So, for example, on the first subnet there, 0.0, .0 the broadcast address is 15.255 one IP address before 16.0. On the second subnet, 16.0, the broadcast address is one IP address before 32.0. So that's 31.255. If we look at subnet 80, the broadcast address for subnet 80 is one IP address before 96.0. So it's 95.255. Okay, so let's just have a look down the list here and see which ones are hosts, which ones are broadcasts, and so on. So the first one, 82.255, looks like a broadcast address, but actually it's right in the middle of the range between 80.0 and 96.0, so it's actually a host. Next one, 95.255, one IP address before 96.0, that's a broadcast address. Next one, 64.255, that's in the range 64.0 to 80.0, so it's a host address. Again, it looks like a broadcast, but it's not, it's a host address. Next one down, 32.255, that's in the middle of subnet 32.0, it's between 32.0 and 48.0. Next one down, 47.255, that's one IP address before 48.0, so it's a broadcast address. The last one, 79.255, one IP address before 80.0, so it's a broadcast address again. So we can use both the lookup tool and this magic number to work out what the steps the subnets are to go in to be able to answer questions like this much easier than converting into binary. Okay, uh, we've got a little bit more to do with IP addressing. So uh, what we'll do in the next section is have a look at um, something called variable length subnet masking and summarization, and we'll go from there.